Hello then, and welcome back to, well I suppose it's a continuation of deep 3D carving with a K40 laser. So I've tried two different types of material, uh, being MDF and pine. And what I want to do now is move to different grain patterns of wood. Now, I've got four examples here. I'll just get it a bit closer to the camera. Okay, now, this is black wood, and it is fairly, fairly dense wood, quite dense wood, actually. Um, this one is oak, all right, and that there again, fairly dense wood so it's very you know the grains are very close together uh, now this is a an exotic wood um, comes from northern Australia and uh, this is merbu now, this is extremely hard wood um, and this is a piece of ultra dense wood and also ultra expensive um, this is hue and pine only grown in Tasmania Australia um, it is stronger than oak and it is the most densely packed wood that you can possibly get um, this is off a tree that was possibly 2,000 years old. Um, and before you rag me about that, uh, you can't cut these trees dead. They must be dead and pretty well falling down before you, you're, you're able to cut them for, you know, lumber. Uh, to make furniture or whatever. Um, so I have some, I've got quite a bit of this actually. Uh, over the years and uh, it's beautiful it's got a smell all to itself it smells I suppose a little tiny bit like oranges but uh, beautiful wood so uh, I'm betting that the laser is going to do the best job in this but I don't know because I've never actually put this, uh, this in a laser to be 3D capped. So uh, we'll leave that one till last. So I've got um, a better 3D grayscale picture uh, of a horse, actually, a stallion, um, that's got, you know, a rounded body and, and, and muscles. So it, it gives a, it's a better 3D image to engrave and get sort of and get some sort of gauge of what the laser is capable of doing. So I'm going to use that as our test subject and I think we'll start with the the black wood first. Okay so I'm just going to fire the laser up So I'm going to bring this head over now and set a zero, zero point. set to 8 milliamps. Now I think I might have made a mistake in my other video where I said it was 8 watts. It's not. 8 milliamps uh, which is about uh, approximately 15 watts. Okay so we'll give this a run. Uh, I'm also setting uh, this at 250 
millimeters per second. Okay, I'm just going to start that again because uh, what I like to do is I like to have the uh, laser snapped in the bottom here and work its way back and uh, I didn't have that set in the settings tab so now I put that right and uh, we'll start again So this time we, I put the oak in there. Let's see what uh, the K40 makes of oak. Okay, so this one is the Merbu, and we'll see what the laser makes of this. I stopped the Merbu because it's just burning it black. It's only fetching a bit of material off, but it's actually making a horrible job of that. So I don't think Merbu is very good for putting in a laser at all, so I stopped that. Okay, so this is the hue and pine, and I have great hopes for this because uh, I really like this wood and I've had it in my 100 watt laser and it does quite well. So uh, here we go, let's see how it goes. Just give me a couple of minutes to clean these up under under a tap, under a tap and a brush. I got some surprising results. Well, that was quite a surprising result. The the Merbu, I stopped part way through it. It was horrible. All it was doing was burning it black. Really, no good at all. And what surprised me was the oak wasn't far behind it. Horrible. So now we come into the, the better materials. Um, the black wood, not bad actually. You could really do something with it. Um, pretty damn good.
but not surprisingly the best result is the hue and pine I yeah I'm really surprised about that that's really really good come out well so I suppose the motto of the video <laughs> is uh, once you get your speed and your feeds c correct um, the next thing to get right is the material that you are uh, you know 3d engraving into and um, look pine pine is pretty good uh, MDF is okay it's okay but um, you know blackwood and um, hue and pine pretty damn good and I suppose the equivalent to or what you you know near equivalent to hue and pine in the states would be something like um, maple or something like that that's a, a fairly pro probably a fairly good wood to uh, put in a laser for 3d carving but anyway we will expand on this because um, I want to try and do some uh, two and a half D carving so there we go um, quite a nice result in uh, those two woods anyway so uh, if you've liked the video please like and subscribe and uh, if you really like what I'm doing you could consider becoming a, a patron to the channel because it is the patrons behind the channel that keep everything going okay so thank you for joining me and it's bye for now